hey guys this is your Preet welcome to our another video in this video we will talk about how to optimize WordPress website we will talk about in detail in depth step by step what are the reason our website has lower score as you can check my website has only 15 performance and accessibility 79 back best practice did not find anything because there are a lot of issues in our website so let me check my website here this is my wordpress first of all we have to check our plugins how many plugins we have installed on our wordpress if we have a lot of plugins that will definitely slow down our wordpress okay so how to improve our wordpress without deleting any plugin without optimize any uh, any content so let me show you if we talk about the media we upload the images in our post those images if we upload high quality high quality images means but that will take more storage and that will slow down your website for example this image is 94 kbps so 94 kb is good but if you're if you see on your website your image is more than 100 kbps or 200 300 that is a huge image you have to optimize it or as well okay so first of all first of all first thing is here we will go to plugin in plugin we will click add new in add new plugin we will search here in plugin we will search light speed cache this one you have to install this plugin first so as i have installed i will click on activate as you can see our website score are very low now even desktop has 58 performance and mobile has only 15 percent so we will improve our these scores okay so we have installed the plugin successfully first of all you have to update all your plugins uh, we, if you are saying you need to update your plugin you have to update them all so next step is go to light speed light speed catchy plugin and click on dashboard in dashboard so you can see it will give you some information about your website how much is the load time how much is the page speed score so first of all uh, we will go to presence present section we will choose the option called advance recommended this is recommended so we will apply present we will click on it okay it will apply in our wordpress so next thing is we will go to general option we will do some general settings here in general setting we have uh, just uh, you need to request for domain key it will provide you automatic the domain key um, you don't need to do anything just uh, apply for domain key successfully please wait for the result you have to wait it will provide you the domain key from the server okay so in the down you have to guest mode guest optimization guest optimization you have to on it and so next important option we have catchy we have to go through step by step in catchy you have to purge all on upgrade you have to on it you have to choose some pages you want to auto purge rules for catchy next thing we have important here is object first of all we will go to the catchy section in catchy control we will enable our catchy here catchy for login user if your website has sign up or login option you have to enable it you have to make it on okay otherwise you don't need to make it enable if you're if you have blog if you don't have any login page option if you have blog if you don't have any login page option you can off it but you can keep all these options on catch a favicon and uh, the favicon is the um, first when someone visit our website they will see the favicon these all are favicon um, when we visit the website we in the top bar we see 
the small logo of our website that called favicon you have to enable it catch it for mobile if you want to catch a separate catch it for mobile that is good you have to make it enable as well okay so next option we have the important is object we have to enable it okay you have to enable it choose meme catch or a dish you can choose any option both are great for object cache okay next we have browser cache make sure you have you will enable it okay browser cache if someone visit your website for once time if they visit second time your website will be uh, open very fast because uh, when they visit first time the cache the browser store some cache and if they uh, visit next time the website pull up immediately because of the cache the cache always store in your browser okay so next option we have to optimize uh, here let me scroll down we will go to the light speed cache plugin and we will go to the option called uh, page optimization here we will go to in this option page optimize where we will optimize our performance the scores you can see the score are 15 and the desktop 58 which is very low now we will optimize it first of all you have to css magnify you have to enable it on and css combine you can it it will combine your css file and it will auto inline it will remove the spaces you can enable it next we have the important here font display optimization you have to uh, choose swap okay and load css anonymously you have to um, click on on it will optimize css delivery can improve your speed score yeah this will definitely work okay so these are three settings uh, first of all three css minify css combine yes and another uh, inline uh, inline css it will help you in render blocking you can enable it and font display and click on swap save changes okay we will go to the next option so these all settings are belong to our css now we will go to javascript settings in jss minify uh, in js minify means javascript minify you have to enable it g uh, javascript combine you can still keep it off and here important option is load javascript deferred you will click on deferred or delay you can do one thing <clears throat> so i have chosen that deferred and save changes okay now next we have html settings html setting you have to enable it and when you scroll down remove query string you have to enable it and load google fonts yeah you have to still you have to on it uh, remove google fonts if you want to remove google fonts you can on it or you can off it google fonts uh, uh, google fonts uh, when when google someone visit your website and google fonts take some time to scroll to to bring up uh, in the front of your viewers your readers so you can remove google fonts instead of google fonts you can choose other local fonts okay so another option remove wordpress if your website had emoji and it slow down your website you can enable it remove no script tag yeah you will enable it as well click save changes okay so next setting we have media setting which is very important uh, in media setting we have lazy load images if your website has already lazy load um, template which enable uh, which help uh, in lazy loading for example if any uh, template you 
um, you install like theme I have a uh, install the Jana theme in Jana theme there is a, a theme option in the theme option they already provide optimization option in optimization they have already uh, lazy load option okay so I once you enable it from the theme side you don't need to enable it here okay if your theme not support lazy loading you have to enable it and when you scroll down lazy load iframes iframe means uh, if your website has any video and it will uh, there is iframes and it will delay the iframes it will improve the uh, improve the page performance and website opening time okay and click save changes next option we have vpi so you can still keep it off viewport images when you use lazy load it will delay loading all image on page okay so you can still off it media excluded if you want to exclude any image from being um, lazy load you can provide the image name here to exclude localization uh, there is nothing important here tuning and tuning css if you want to exclude any css you can provide css here as well in tuning you can exclude javascript as well you can provide them any javascript file or the name of the file it will exclude from uh, delay default javascript default. okay so these are the important settings so now uh, let's check out our website score now you have to go pagespeed.web.dev or you can search in google google insight uh, google page speed insight you have to search your website there what uh, score you get so you as you check our score was 15 now we will check how much score we got it will diagnose your performance issues it will take some time depends on your internet connection it will check the performance of your web page you have to wait till it finished do not refresh your page okay as you can see uh, we have last 15 score and now our score is 64 which is very good and accessibility best, best practice is 92 SEO 93 which is very good score okay we still can improve it and let's check out our desktop you can see guys desktop 84 which is very good so this is how you can improve your website performance which will help you for your readers they will not quit your website they will uh, not leave your website if your website will slow down they they will definitely leave it they cannot wait till all the content uh, uh, they are visiting they are searching any article on your website but your website slow down which can cause they leave your website so if your website score are more than 70 or 75 that's more good okay so i hope you like this video thank you so much